Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen. Today we are diving deep into uh, lead code daily challenge number 86 partition list. So our mission to partition a linked list around pivot value. So sound intriguing, right? So let's dive into a task. So our task is simple. Given a linked list at value x, we need to partition the list such that all nodes less than x come before nodes greater than or equal to uh, x. But uh, here is the catch. We need to preserve the original relative order. So as you can see, this is our uh, linked list and pivot value x uh, equal 3. So this is pivot value. And basically what we are asked, so all uh, values, uh, nodes that less than x come before nodes that are uh, equal or uh, greater. So those nodes are equal or greater uh, that I marked and those are moving here because they are uh, less. And also we are preserving uh, the relative order of those uh, greater or equal nodes. Uh, so it's four, three and five. Uh, same as in uh, first unprocessed uh, list. Okay, so now when we understand it, let's dive into uh, visualization of the problem and uh, how we can solve it. So uh, consider this uh, list uh, as a sorting game, but we are not fully sorting. Instead, we are creating two uh, partitions. So partition before and partition after and think of it as uh, we move all those nodes into one or a second partition uh, to the left if uh, they are smaller uh, than our uh, given x so it go to before and uh, if it's uh, greater or equal it go to the right uh, yeah if it's bigger so that's why uh, uh, if we look Let's visualize. Uh, we have value uh, x that is three, so x equals three, and then we process every element. So uh, we process element one, and it go before. Uh, then we process four, it go after. Then we process three, uh, it go after as well because it's uh, greater or equal. Then we process two, it go here. Then we process five, it goes here. Then we process two, it goes here. And also because we preserve uh, the relative value, uh, everything is in order. And finally, what we do, we link uh, to list. So we merge uh, this uh, partition with our second partition, and this is our uh, result. So, uh, as you can see, yep, this is our result. Also, we have uh, the uh, dummy variables. So, those uh, zero were just uh, dummy variables uh, for efficiency. So, uh, now let's dive into a code. So, we have uh, our class uh, solution implemented by lead code and our method partition. And uh, our first step is creating uh, two dummy nodes before and after. Think of them as, as uh, placeholders. So before, be, before, yeah. And after will be list node zero, list node zero. And then we have before current, after current, and it will be before and after. Okay. so. Now here is uh, where the magic will happen. So we will traverse our list and if node value is less than x, uh, it join uh, the before list, uh, else uh, if it joins the uh, after list. And because we are working on list, we need to also have a hat. So while hat, if hat value less than x, before, current, next, before, current, 
so it will be head and head. Uh, so basically before current next is a pointer to next element and else it will be after after current next and after current and it will be hat and also hat and finally hat will be next so we are moving one element because it's linked at least and after current current next will be known and before current will be next after next and finally we return before uh, next okay so uh, this is our implementation so it's efficient because we are working on the list and not uh, converting it to uh, array so uh, this conditional uh, right here uh, so this is the heart of our uh, function uh, so uh, nodes gracefully move to the uh, right place so uh, if it's less it go before and if it's uh, else so greater or equal it go uh, after and then we uh, pick next uh, next node but by uh, placing head to head next so uh, uh, after we traverse, uh, it's time for the uh, final. So we combine our uh, two lists and uh, there you have it. Uh, so uh, this part is just a combination. So uh, after current next, so it's uh, after current it's known and before current next. So we are merging uh, it with our uh, after uh, next. So finally we have both uh, partition merged and we return uh, the uh, starting of merged uh, partition so a pointer uh, okay so uh, that's it let's run it for uh, this test cases hopefully it will work so yeah all good and now we can run it for unseen test cases as well to verify uh, so constraint are probably harder so yeah, and our implementation bit 70%. Interesting. So let's try to rerun it. Yeah, 62. So probably those are different test cases. And now we are beating 55% with respect to runtime. Uh, yeah, but basically it's uh, quite efficient and it's uh, time complexity of O n and uh, space complexity is o1 so it's constant and as you can see three runs three different uh, results so probably test cases and uh, in optimal uh, yeah test case uh, we beat uh, 90 percent with respect to runtime and 84 with respect to memory but uh, all uh, solutions oscillate around uh, 40 milliseconds and uh, 60 uh, megabytes Okay, so for uh, other uh, programmers that don't uh, use Python, uh, I will post also uh, implementation in other programming languages like Go, Rust, C++, and much more. And uh, here is a quick recap of our approach. Uh, remember, uh, understanding the logic is uh, key. So it's really uh, simple but a quite useful task especially for coding interview and once you get uh, the coding uh, logic uh, coding become a breeze so uh, that's it for today uh, if you found this helpful uh, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more coding tutorials and solution and challenges and much more and until next time keep coding keep 